This model plane can reach speeds of 80 miles per hour. Its pilot, a member of a passionate group of airplane enthusiasts who meet weekly at this Richmond airfield. With line control like this type of thing, you're actually holding the plane in your hand and in a way you feel it pulling, you feel the motor vibrating, you're flying close to the ground and it's big time excitement, yeah. The group is one of the oldest clubs in Canada still running. The Vancouver Model Gas Club started back in 1935. Tell me how bad I was. <laughs> Many of them have worked with planes their entire lives. Past President Bruce Duncan was a private pilot for nearly 40 years. Flying's just in our, our blood. So we started out as youngsters flying model airplanes. And in my case, I was flying model airplanes and I got into real airplanes. And now I'm back into model airplanes again. And uh, it's just, you know, people who like flying, like flying. Doesn't matter what it is. Their passion for flying also extends to the workshop. Keith Farley built his first plane when he was eight years old. As a young boy, oh, everybody was interested in airplanes. It was like World War II, and the development of aircraft was happening so fast. There's an emotional investment in an airplane, and when that airplane crashes, it's like getting divorced. So keen is he on this hobby that he's even reinventing some classics. I'm trying to develop a very small-powered airplane rubber powered that we can use in the local parks and I'm talking something really small like like this you see and you can wind it up and it, because the and, and it just goes by rubber band wound up. The experience is both a leisurely and creative one but it's also competitive. These members challenge other clubs and competitions across North America. The planes are judged on the symmetry of an increasingly complex series of aerial maneuvers. And eventually you end up doing the most difficult maneuver of them all. It's the very last one is a, is a clover leaf. So it's very much like flying real light aircraft. When you want to go up, you pull the handle up. And when you want to go down, you pull the handle down just like you would on the stick on a real light aircraft. Their love of planes has come full circle. What began as a childhood interest sparked by images of World War II fighter planes has evolved into an adult hobby, both challenging and fun. In Richmond, I'm Peter Kim for The Express.